Sex trafficking is making national headlines as financier Jeffrey Epstein faces new charges. Kelloland News intern Lauren Solek spoke with Call to Freedom to see how this high profile case is shedding light on a dark subject. What I want to communicate is that traffickers come in many different forms. They don't have one face. In 2008, Jeffrey Epstein served 13 months in jail and registered as a sex offender after being accused of abusing more than two dozen girls. That sentence came from a controversial plea deal with the U.S. attorney, Alex Acosta. We did what we did because we wanted to see Epstein go to Jail. Eleven years later, Epstein faces new charges of sex trafficking. Becky Rasmussen with Call to Freedom hopes this time he receives a harsher sentence. But this is an opportunity to make a statement. Um, human trafficking is a hidden, it's hidden in plain sight. We don't see it, but it's happening within our communities. And if we don't talk about it and we don't make an example of uh, prosecuting these to the fullest extent, basically what we're going to find is we're going to see all these people still doing it and not having accountability. So I think accountability is extremely important. I think prosecuting it to the fullest extent possible. The Epstein story may be unfolding in another part of the country, but Rasmussen says the issue at the center of the case is something we all need to pay attention to. A lot of people think that human trafficking is not happening in communities. Actually, there's a stat with Polaris, which is our national human trafficking hotline, that they've gotten a report from every county within the United States. In Sioux Falls, Lauren Solick, Kelloland News. Rasmussen says the community plays a big role in reporting cases of sex trafficking. She says if you see signs of trafficking or abuse in your neighborhood, you can call anonymously to report it through Crime Stoppers. To learn more about the signs of sex trafficking, just head to this story at kelloland.com.